You say your mother abused you physically and sexually. There was a point at which she stopped abusing you, right? Yeah. So what happened was she says, there's some spoons missing from the drawer. She's going to beat me up if I don't find them. And I run out to the garage and I just run. I just keep running. And I go to my father. Then, you know, I didn't get on with my father at all. He sent me away to one of these Magdalene laundries. He paid them to take me. This was like a group home. The Magdalene laundry, they're notorious. Yeah. And I used to run away from the place. Interestingly, the nun there bought me my first guitar. They're the ones that spotted, OK, the only way we're going to save this music you know anyway i go there and i'm running away from there all the time to my mother to go stay with my mother i guess i got to be the same size as her she stopped hitting me you know so we developed a very good relationship between the age of 14 and 16 and a half we had a great relationship because she was blown away that i forgave her did you ever talk to her about it one day i did ask her why did you do what you did to us and she said i never did anything what are you talking about and i was furious with her raging with her that i didn't talk to her for about nine months Next thing I hear, she's dead in a car crash. Did you have unfinished emotional business with her when she died? Well, the whole family did. Nothing could ever be fixed again and will never be fixed again. It's very kind of God to take her. Her life was hell. You wouldn't want to be her, do you know? So I was relieved for her, relieved for me, but devastated the loss of her. She was my best friend.